Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today in this video, I'm going to explain how you can get your customers upload files in WooCommerce for your product page or your car or your checkout. Okay, so I have this plugin is called customer upload files for WooCommerce. Okay, so imagine that in your product page or you're selling a t-shirt or any product that you want to get your customers upload a file, document, picture anything that they want to upload in there that plugin allows you to do it okay so as you can see here you can go and see the feature list there is add files upload button to product car or checkout page create multiple rules uh, allow a single or multiple files to be uploaded restricted rules etc okay i'll show you how you can do that so it have a cost in here for 90 for 40 49 dollars a year or four dollars per month okay so you just need to go buy it but in here i'm going to explain you how to do the setup okay so if you go through your wordpress and then woocommerce store here in dashboard okay we're going through the section say plugins here plugins and add new plugin so after you purchase that plugin you just need to go here upload a plugin and then choose file so I already have my one. You just need to go and select and open install now. And then after the installation, what we need to do is just basically, uh, is just basically activate that plugin. Okay. So once it's active, we just need to refresh the browser. I'm just going to refresh quickly here. And then what we going is, uh, here WooCommerce and then settings. So here in settings, we are going to this is called upload files and there you go so this is what it is rules empty okay we need to create new rules custom files to extension so let me explain this step okay so first thing that we have in here is add rules manage rules custom files extensions and additional settings which is more for uh customize and how to edit also you in a bit okay so first thing we're going here add rule okay so add rule description file types restriction etc First thing that we need to do is just enable first of all, right? Because otherwise it's not gonna work. So we enable that. We're gonna see here display. What do you want that to display that button to upload the file? So you can put it into the product page, car page, or checkout page, or after notes, okay? So I would probably put into the product page, okay? And then here say single or um, multiple files. You need to select one, okay? So you select single, for instance. All right, and then say price. I'm gonna leave it blank because I don't wanna do for any price, it's just any price, it could be good. Discount type, I don't wanna do any discount. Is that where this button is going to display? So if you put in black, it will display everywhere, okay? So say if it's required, I would always suggest that if you want them to do it, just mark this, okay? Check that. Say note, if you are using add to car AX uh, on single product page, then required feature might not work, okay? So that is if you have this function ix in here but then require it will be uh, a good option okay if you need it if you need a custom notes uh, customer notes sorry so you just need to click check in that one marketing using approval uh use approval you can check as well hide details on front end i'll show you how it looks like and then description if you want to put any description so you can put here description i'll show you in a bit how display right description and notes you can put that okay um so then then we're going here allow file types what type of files you are allowing them the format so jp uh, or png even i think is also for video a pdf as well if you want to do any document okay um and then see the maximum upload file that you want them to do as be careful with that because if you don't have so they can put any or a lot of uh, document which is quite uh, heavy and then that it wouldn't be so probably put maximum two or maybe one megabyte which is quite a lot okay but it will be enough maybe with one multiple uh multiply by quantity so enable mul to multiply files price with product quantity down well, probably you can check if you need that upload preview style so um i'll show you i'm gonna put display as an icon 
because I think that's just more, it will be simple and it will be easy. You can change that as a thumbnail if you want. Product category restriction. So if you just want to use that for any specific product, so you can use here, you just go there and then you need to choose what product you want to use, all right? So in that case, I got my meta VR, but in no, don't put anything and that's it. So visible for for all the products, okay? In here, user, what user, that's good because imagine that you just want to apply that for specific users, right? So it's a guest user, right? Or for instance, any subscriber or customer, depends what you want to um, do or use that um, plugin, that function you can use for user roles, which is, I think is pretty good. And here, so button text, you can put that, for instance, just upload, uh, upload a file, okay? You can put it in here and then button uh, background color, you can put it whatever you want. Let's gonna put background um, black and then the text is gonna be white, okay? So now we save, okay, and that's it. So that it will be the rule that we create. As you go here now to manage rule, it will show in here, as you can see, rule number one, enable product, single, it is it is it, right? So how that it will display, I'll show you here in quickly. I'm just gonna go through my store. You can go to your shop and then for instance, pick that one's Meta VR. And as you can see, it's here, okay? As you can see, it's a little bit funny the way they display is a little bit like that. So what you can do that is more, for instance, you can do that with Elementor, all right? So you can just go to your template and I'm gonna fix that. Instead to be here in a layout in line, you can put stacked and then it will be update. So now it will display above the add to car button okay so let's gonna see how that display let me go back that's not the product um that it wouldn't work because it's a discount as you can see right now if we go to the meta which is here that it will say that is required upload a gp or a png pdf file maximum one megabyte and here you have this button that you can just they can upload the file all right as you can see here the description notes that there um, that you can put in there but if you want to change that layout it's simple i'll show you how to do it so here in additional notes okay additional notes uh, sorry additional settings um you just go here and then you will see that's the button layout setting so i put simplicity but you can put maybe minimal or uh, default so by default also you have display that it will change a little bit now we just refresh and it will be like this square in here depends how you want to put that but you can play around with these tools okay so as you can see here upload image layer your settings you can put name only name and Im image depends what you want to do single multiple upload buttons you just put a simple one if you want okay and that's the icon as you can see uh, upload button icon so depends what you want of that cloud or well you have these options okay and then um let me put that as it was because i think it was good if you want to put a file upload progress i put none but because you know but if you want you just put it in there that it will be just a picture nothing else and enable cropper so if checked for well that's for enable admin feedback if you want to put it you just need to check these two options okay but that is a good feature in order to improve you you know your user experience and if also if you need it in case that you depend what product you're selling right that it will be good for you online store using woocommerce okay so please um, let me know if you have any questions on the comments below, like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.